friends, welcome back to my little cozy corner of the internet. So yes, I look very different. I did a blowout in my hair um, yesterday and I feel like a different person. But I'm also wearing makeup again, which is exciting. My skin is like 99% healed. I have the slightest bit of discoloration because it did come back again, but I think we're like almost out of the woods. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't been here, hello, my name is Harmony and I do a little bit of everything. <laughs> Mostly reading on this channel, but I also love like hiking and sewing and crocheting and all of the things. I have two dogs that like to cry every time I turn this camera on, so you're gonna hear that. <laughs> but yes, I just wanted to start another reading vlog and catch you guys up on some of my recent reads and current reads. So I did finish Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I actually finished it pretty fast. I, oh, for me, I finished it in like three or four days, which for me is pretty fast. I loved it so much. Shay Earnshaw's writing is fantastic. I had like one complaint, but I'm not even gonna mention it because it doesn't matter. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'll reread this probably next fall because I just think it was so darling. <sighs> this is just so sweet. And it does change your perspective on the movie, so. <laughs> so next time you watch the movie, I'm gonna have a totally different perspective on like Sally and her story and everything, which I'm sure was the point. So she goes to Dreamtown and the whole reason and background of Dreamtown is like, that's what changes everything it changes your perspective on her story on her life on her just i don't i can't even say it it's very good and i loved the ending it was so wholesome can you not yeah, the ending was so wholesome and just so beautiful and the character development that sally has is just so sweet and it just makes my heart smile oh this oh, this quote was so cute Maybe, maybe I can be both to a ragdoll and a pumpkin queen. So yeah, I don't know. I'd probably give this like four and a half out of five stars. I just think it was so cute. Shay Earnshaw's writing was just on point. Like the things that Jack would say and Sally would say, it was just like, that's totally something that they would say. And like, you know how Jack would be very like fantastic or wonderful and like she totally, she just captures it so well and that's how he talks in the book. And it was just so sweet and I really loved it. So yeah, that's my update on Long Live the Pumpkin Queen. I thought it was great and just wholesome and sweet and beautiful. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking this up if you love Nightmare Before Christmas, for sure. So now I'm actually reading two books. So in my, <laughs> in my bunny vlog, I had said that Daisy Darker was one of the other books that I wanted to read in October. I was hoping to finish it by the end of October, but I ended up also picking up this book at the same time. So I'm still working on it. I am halfway through, I think. I'm on chapter 24, page 172. And I have, I have quite a few tabs in this one. This one is so good. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be four out of five at the moment. I just, Alice Feeney, man. I've, <laughs> I've read one of her other books and that was Rock, Paper, Scissors and I really liked it. It was my first thriller and I thought it was fantastic because I just remember the twist in that story being super good. But I forgot how amazing her writing is. Like her, she's just, I don't even know how to say it. Like she just has a lot of wisdom and there are just so many good one-liners and the story seems great. Like she's tying together a lot of things in this story. I'm really impressed actually. So yeah, I hopefully plan on finishing this book in this vlog i just this is just so good i shared a quote on instagram the other day oh this one part was also really good she asked nana like what do you believe in and nana smiled and said i believe in kindness and hard work and daisy asks what about god and she smiled again and said i believe that god believes in hard work too i thought that was really good you can't pray for an a and then study for a c you know like you you still have to do your part of things. You still have to grow and be kind and be good. I don't know, that's a whole other subject I could get really far into, but I won't because I don't want this video to be a hundred million minutes long like they usually are. Oh, this one was good too. Fear is something we have to feel to learn and learn to feel. <sighs> Nana says, everyone deserves a second chance. Even bad people, I asked. Everyone you know is both good and bad. It's part of being human. 
as the Bible says, we're all sinners and we fall short of the glory of God. And like, I just love the way that she put that. Like everybody deserves a second chance because we're all bad. We're all good and bad, I should say. There's no such thing as a good person. We can still do good in the world, you know? So again, that's another deep conversation that I probably just confused people with, but it's what I do, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I want to read and finish this book either today or tomorrow, which is asking a lot of me because I'm only that far and I've been reading this for like a week and a half. So I might not finish this today or tomorrow. It might be a while, but you know what? I'm gonna try. <laughs> I am going to finish eating my breakfast, which my sandwich is probably cold by now, but that's fine. <laughs> Continue drinking my latte and my cutie little mushroom mug. And then I think I'm just gonna sit right here in my cozy little spot and read some more of Daisy Darker. And I'll update you guys along the way. Also, if I finish Daisy Darker, I'm gonna pick up one more kind of like autumnal book. I think I might read Mexican Gothic. I have not read that yet and it's been sitting there for a hot minute. Otherwise, you can't really see, but I did get uh, my most recent book of the month order and I got White Horse by Erica Wirth, which is about like a Native American girl, which I'm excited to read about because I've never read like an indigenous story before and I myself am indigenous. So I'm really excited to read that one. It sounds kind of like spooky supernatural. So maybe I'll pick that one up instead of Mexican gothic. But then I also got The Maid and No Exit. So I'm excited to read all those. I'm gonna eat and read some more and I will catch up with you guys in a few minutes. This is just getting better and better. So I realized that I never actually said what it was totally about. So there is the Darker family made up of Nancy and Frank who are the parents who have three daughters. Daisy's the youngest, Lily is the middle, and Rose is the oldest. And then there is Nana and she of course is the grandmother who owns the house right here called Sea Glass. So this family does not get along at all and it's actually quite sad because Daisy tells quite a few stories of her growing up and how she just knew that her parents did not love her, especially her mother. They divorced, but her father was always out and about. He was part of an orchestra or led an orchestra or something like that. So he was always traveling the world with his orchestra. Her mother just very materialistic, very cares a lot about what other people think of her physically and just had no love for Daisy at all. Daisy was born with a heart defect of some kind and so she has died several times. And now Rose is the older sister and she is a little bit self-absorbed but like she's very confident and beautiful, successful. I actually kind of like her. Like she has her flaws, but overall I like her. Lily is a horrible person, absolutely horrible, disgusting human being. <laughs> she has a daughter named Trixie and she is so mean to her daughter. I mean, just saying things like, this is why boys don't like you. You need to dress better. You dress like a child. You need to grow up. Like just is so awful to her. Just when I think the comments can't get any worse, they do. And it's just so sad. I've teared up a few times because I'm like, this is just so awful. So the book takes place at Sea Glass, which of course, like I said, is Nana's house. And they gather at Nana's house every year for Nana's birthday, which is on Halloween. But then there's also Connor, who is a family friend. Daisy was kind of in love with Connor when they were children. And there's some kind of secret that Daisy's keeping. I don't know what it is, but I think something happened between her and Connor or between him and Rose. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of waiting for the details on exactly what happened. When the tide comes in, there's no way to leave sea class. So basically the house is like surrounded by the ocean. So they have to wait for the tide to go back down so that they can go to town and stuff. So they're all trapped here together. And then all of a sudden, Nana turns up dead. Like they just find her body in the kitchen. Of course, nobody's owning up to it. They have no idea what happened. Also, they find like a VHS tape on the table next to Nana and it's like a home movie from back in the day in like the 80s. Family members are getting picked off. So I'm not gonna spoil who was next, but then they find like the next family member dead. And then this one goes missing. And like, it's just, we're trying to figure out like who's killing everybody. Part of me almost thinks it's Daisy, but I don't know, there's like no indication that it would be. So 
I'm just throwing it out there because it seems unlikely. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I haven't been able to read this entire time because I've had some distractions and I started the dishwasher. <laughs> but I'm on page, one, page 197, so I have made a little bit of progress. <sighs> this is such a weird, interesting, beautiful, heartbreaking book. <laughs> I saw somebody on TikTok, they made like a list of books i think it was either like the most terrifying books that i've read or like the most emotionally destroying books that i've read i can't remember i thought it was terrifying but this was on the list and there were like five books i mean i'm not terrified at all there's nothing scary about this book like it's more kind of like ooh, <laughs> but nothing scary so it is very emotional though it's very emotional there's a lot of talk about abuse and sad things so but it is beautiful. So anyway, I've been talking a long time again, so I'm gonna read some more. and it's already starting to get kind of dark. I did get a little bit distracted again. I found myself scrolling for a hot minute on Instagram, but I made it to page 238 and I think things are gonna make a turn. <laughs> really interesting and again, really sad. Just like more stories that Daisy is telling about her childhood is just really sad. Still a lot of good one-liners. This one was really interesting, talking about like love and hate and how like I said, that their parents had gotten divorced, but when the dad got in an accident, the mother still went to go see him. One of um, the kids was like, why would you do that? Like, you're divorced, you're not supposed to care. And Rose was like, I don't think it works like that. When you love someone, you can't just turn it off. There isn't a switch. Even if you hate someone that you once loved, there is still a little bit of love there. Love is like the soil that hate needs in order to grow. I think it's rare in relationships to have one without the other. That was really interesting. I just, I don't know. This is another one of those things that I just kind of have to think about before I speak on it, which I need to do more often. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a reading break. I've got about 100 pages left. I might see you guys tonight. I might see you guys tomorrow. But either way, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Hello, good afternoon. It is 12.45 the next day. I am looking a little rough. <laughs> So last night when I took my makeup off, I'm apparently not used to wearing makeup and I was like taking it off and apparently got too vigorous removing my eyeliner and mascara because after I finished removing it, my eyelids hurt so bad. Like, oh, you can still see it's pretty red all right here. So my eyes hurt so bad all night and then I woke up this morning and my eyes were so swollen so yeah if anybody has like eye makeup remover recommendations please let me know <laughs> my eyes hurt so bad this morning and last night but it's fine now the swelling has gone down and we're okay but so much for looking nice today <laughs> i did not read at all last night after I said peace out to you guys i cleaned and stuff and then zephyrin my brother came over and our buddy joseph who lives in our cottage on our property they both came over and we all just hung out we watched a few movies we watched <laughs> hairspray wild hogs and princess diaries <laughs> and i made a dinner that was really bad i started reading about an hour ago i am on page 293 and there was a good reveal the only thing i'm not liking about this book so far is that like spoilers happen like two pages before the actual event she kind of talks about it or like the story enough that it like gives it away and then when it's revealed it's not like oh, 
it's more just like okay well yeah you kind of just told us that in a weird way if you've read this book i think you might know what i'm talking about specifically what is revealed at this point in the story i'm just gonna keep reading i'm probably gonna put some more lotion on my eyes this one especially like still hurts <laughs> i cannot believe that happened to me i was like of course the one time i wear makeup i injure myself taking it off anyway I'm gonna read for a little bit longer. I plan on finishing this book in the next hour. I don't think it'll take me an hour to read 30 pages, but I am kind of slow. So I'll see you guys in a minute. <laughs> freaked out Rogan. I mean, it makes sense, but like... There are three big reveals in this book. The first one made sense. The second one, I was kind of like, wait, well, what about when this happened? Like at the beginning, because that doesn't make sense. But now this final reveal, I'm like, that makes sense. I'm going to be thinking about this for a long time, like this book, and listen to this music that I'm listening to. This is like setting the mood, like this, for how incredibly creepy this book is, like that just amplified this so much. So like, I was almost crying, not because it's scary, but because like, emotionally it kind of messes with you for a second wow i mean this i don't even know what to say this could have been predicted this could have been called out like i think some people could totally guess this but at the same time that's my i <laughs> i can speak english i swear oh my gosh so i'm on chapter 49 page 320 I can't even put together sentences right now. I'm like, wow, okay. Okay, I'm gonna, okay. Oh, okay, how many did I say? There's like 330 pages, 335, okay. So I've got like 14 pages left. I kinda wanna cry right now because this is, this is like really deep. Like it's not, but it is. Like, I kind of want to cry. I hope they make this into a movie because I feel like it would be an amazing film. My comfort dog. Okay. Okay, so now I actually am crying. Oh my gosh. I'm reading, I'm reading page 322. Oh my gosh, this is so sad. <laughs> I don't want to cry because my eyes, my skin still hurts around my eyes. <laughs> this music is not helping me either, so I turned it off. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so sad. I'm not okay. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people could read this and not have the reaction that I'm having right now, but I am freaking squirrel keeps eating all the bird seeds. <laughs> I am an incredibly emotional person. So this is really sad to me. <laughs> I mean, this should be sad to anybody, but oh, this is so sad.
for it, folks. <sighs> Just finished. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what to say. I was not expecting this book to like emotionally damage me like this. <laughs> I just want to cry. I just want to cry. This book was beautifully written. Alice Feeney has such a wonderful way with words. Her writing style is magnificent and she has so much great wisdom. So many fantastic one-liners. I mean, she's fantastic. The story was, the concept wasn't original, but the twist was. The twist was very original and it breaks my heart. <laughs> it was beautiful, but sad and... <sighs> if you've read this book, I'd love to talk about it <laughs> because like I said, I don't want to give spoilers. <laughs> when you get the twist, you want to go back and read stuff because then it'll all, you'll see things from a very different perspective that will make sense. I want to read this again so that I have the twist in my mind when I read it. And it was the same with Rock, Paper, Scissors, her other book. It was the same thing. After I finished it, I was like, now I have to reread it knowing the twist because it's going to give me a totally different perspective on everything. Like, so now I'm like, now I want to reread it with that, with this perspective. But at the same time, I don't want to reread it because it hurt my feelings. <laughs> Backstage pass is a myth when it comes to human relationships. We can never really know another person because we rarely know ourselves. So yeah, I would say this is a five star read. Honestly, five out of five for me. Like I said, the reading was great. The story was fantastic. It emotionally destroyed me. So now I just want to find a happier book to read. Okay, so I'm gonna go with The Maid. It was a lot of people's favorite book last year and this year. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start The Maid. I'm hoping it doesn't hurt my feelings, but I feel like nothing can hurt me right now after what I just read, so. So I'll start this, I'll talk about how I'm feeling about it, and then I'll close the vlog out because <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna be able to stop thinking about that book for a while. I'm glad that when my husband gets home, I'll be able to like tell him all about it because he's not gonna read He's not gonna read it, I'm sure, so I can just let out all my feels. <laughs> when I was in here reading, and him, Joseph, and Zephyr were all in here, and they were like, so what's that book about? And I'm like, oh, it's like this, this, and this, and so they were like, so it's basically like Clue. Wow, how original. So now I get to like tell them all the details, and they're gonna be like, oh, wow. I'm like, yeah, maybe you should pick up a book every once in a while. <laughs> I was not expecting that twisty ending like that. Like, I knew there was gonna be a twist, but like, Wow. <laughs> so anyway, okay, yeah, I'm gonna sit down and start this, start this baby and hopefully it's good. Okay, let's go read some more. <laughs> chapter I'm on page 22 I really like this so far I did not expect to like really like this book and I'm only 20 pages in I think the main character Molly is so interesting I'm really wondering like what her like deal is <laughs> she just found a dead body and she's concerned about cleaning the other rooms because she's a maid I'm like either you're a psychopath or you have like something else going on like I don't know. I'm very curious to know. I just like her personality. She's different. I love the way that she talks, how she explains things, and the whole concept of just being like clear. It is best to be direct and clear all the time. I think that's what she says. But I do have a few tabs already. I thought this quote was super funny. As Grant used to say, when you assume you make an ASS out of you and me. <laughs> It made me think of the Gilmore Girls episode when Lorelai's talking to Emily and she was like, well, you know what they say when you assume things. And Emily's like, what? And she goes, that you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm also relating a lot to her as far as like being socially awkward and like different. Also because I'm kind of a clean freak. I love organization 
and cleaning things like I actually enjoy cleaning like my dream job is to be a homemaker and to just clean and cook and organize and do all of like the housewife things like I would love to do that that's actually our goal at some point and I loved how she explained it and she said it's as though everyone is playing an elaborate game with complex rules they know but I'm always playing for the first time I make etiquette mistakes with alarming regularity, offend when I mean to compliment, misread body language, say the wrong thing at the wrong time. And I just find that very relatable. I feel like that all the time. I usually leave social, situ social situations thinking like, wow, that was not my best work. <laughs> I feel like I'm constantly doing the wrong thing or feeling like I'm the one person out of place and it's just, I love the way she said it. Finally, somebody put to words what I feel like a lot of the time. So I just, I really like that. I don't know if I'm the only person. I doubt I'm the only person. I'm sure most people do this. So anytime I read a book, I always try to imagine like an actor that I know playing certain characters. As I am reading this one, the character that comes to mind or the actor that comes to mind, her name is Lindsay Broad. I don't know if she's been in like a lot of popular stuff, but one of my favorite shows, especially growing up, was Ghost Whisperer. And she plays a character in Ghost Whisperer where she has like the short black bob like Molly does in The Maid. Uh, this is what she looks like. But this is like who I'm imagining playing Molly <laughs> in my head. Oh, this is kind of a weird picture, but kind of like that. Like that's who I imagine playing Molly because she's pale skin, dark eyes, and then the short black hair. I am going to spend the rest of the night, well, until Steven gets home, I'm going to be reading more. Actually, I'm probably going to start editing this vlog and then read some more of The Maid and then hang out with my husband when he gets home. I'm so excited to see him. Thanks for being here and watching my vlogs and hanging out with me and being my friend. <laughs> until then, feel free to follow me on Instagram and check out my links below for a bunch of other fun stuff and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!